We are living in a crazy time right now. Camera equipment is getting better super, super fast. And to match that, these different camera companies are releasing firmware updates to make our cameras that much better. I went on a shoot in collaboration with the National Audubon Society to Eastern Egg Rock off the coast of Maine. There we photographed and videoed different types of seabirds that were all nesting on this little rock. It was kind of an island, but it was super small, so I guess that's why it's called Eastern Egg Rock. But anyway, it was such an awesome shoot. We met some amazing people, and we got some amazing video and photography opportunities with these different types of birds, especially the Atlantic Puffin, which was our focus species. In this video, we're going to do a little highlight reel of all of the cool stuff we saw, but I want to at least talk a little bit about some of the cool autofocus stuff that I'm seeing coming out of different companies, such as Canon, which is the company that I use. So before we get into the highlight reel, I wanna talk a little bit about the camera equipment that we used. Out there we were paired with Canon R cameras, namely the Canon R5, which is my favorite body to use for wildlife photography. It has a high megapixel count for when I take photos and the cinema capabilities of that camera are just amazing and I use that for all of my big video shoots. I paired that with the Canon 600mm too. Now you may be wondering why I would be pairing such a new camera body with an older lens. There are two new models out, the Canon 600mm f4.3 and the Canon 600mm RF lens. You may be surprised to know that this lens is just as good in terms of sharpness and image quality as the other two lenses. It's just a little bit heavier. I don't mind the weight and I found that I was getting just stunning photographs with it. So I trust this gear. I'm just going to keep on using it. So without further ado, let's just jump right into the highlight video in three, two, one, and So here we are at Eastern Egg Rock. This amazing island is the nesting site for tons of different species of seabirds. We're going to be going after and videoing the Atlantic Puffin, a charismatic seabird that resides on this island and feeds and raises its chicks. So what did I take away from the shoot? Well, the autofocus for these cameras have just gotten insane. I was taking flight shots of puffins coming in super, super fast because they are pretty fast flyers, I might add, holding different species of fish and getting those money shots that we came there for. At the same time, the video autofocus held up just as well, getting a couple flybys and also getting tons of active little puffin shots of them hopping around on the rocks. 
It was amazing to get out there and a great way to start off this next project that I'll be working on for the next couple of years. More details on that as the project goes on. But the message I want to tell all of you guys is that whether you're shooting with the Canon R7, the R6, the R5, or the R3, all of these different autofocus systems that Canon has developed are just top notch. And for these R line bodies, the autofocus system is pretty much the same. If you haven't checked out my other review about the Canon R3, I'll put that link in the description below. I found the autofocus in that camera was pretty much the best autofocus I've ever used, but the Canon R5 is not that much different. In fact, I'd put it pretty much toe to toe, maybe with the Canon R3 just being a little bit better because it's just optimized for those super, super fast sports stuff. But at that point, we're pretty much splitting hairs. Guys, I hope you enjoyed this quick little video and I hope you enjoyed the footage. If you liked videos like this, please sure to like and subscribe and I'll see you guys later. Peace out.